What's up, y'all? It's your boy D and I am back with another video. Y'all know these are my favorite type of videos. I love to do these videos because I get to update y'all of what I be getting. Really got shoes all right here. And I got clothes all on my bed. And it's just it's just a lot, bro. So buckle up. You feel what I'm saying? We finna get into this bit. Okay, y'all. So it's a lot of shit, bro. Like I don't know where to start. What I recently just got, like probably yesterday, I got this balaclava. Balaclava. Balaclava whatever it is i just got this ski mask i'm actually gonna wear this like for my next fit I paid like 30 dollars for this so my next accessory is of course the chain i got on it basically says three three six nine really mean like something deep it's basically just like a cool like pendant or whatever it's like three six nine like I don't know it's just some cool shit um i got it from the streetwear brand and i thought it was cool so i grabbed it because i needed some more jewelry or whatever next is this nike hat that i got on i got this from je sports um, i just paid like 30 dollars for this you know cool red nike uh beanie next accessories i got is these three hats i wore this yesterday if y'all watched the combat video and then i got a um a white one that says the screen this one says panther this is like my favorite hat right now i need a haircut i'm gonna retwist this is my go-to hat because i wear black a lot and then this one y'all know i love camo the camo print i really wish it had, didn't have red in it so i could wear it with more stuff but it doesn't matter these are the three hats i picked up each are 40 dollars each so y'all do the math that's how much i spent i think i'm gonna start with like my pants and stuff because I don't really got a lot. So y'all probably seen these before um, on my Instagram. I wore these with my Fire Red 3s that I no longer have. Rest in peace to the Fire Red 3s. If you know, you know. Are my skeleton joggers. Literally only wore these once, I'm not gonna lie. Simply because I don't really go nowhere. I'm not gonna lie. I go to work, come to the crib, and I be chilling. Next pair of pants I got are these Levi's. Probably seen these too also on my Instagram. I basically thrifted these. Lately, I just haven't been getting lucky with thrifting, but one day I went and I seen these and it got the camel print all blue with the green and the flag. I just had to cop them. For those sweatpants, I paid like $30 because it was on sale. And then for those Levi's, I paid like $15. Okay, so next pair of pants I got are these green cargos you know what i'm saying i got these from boohoo man not really much to say about these they're very comfortable they're baggy so beware before you buy them they are baggies okay so next pair of pants i got are these pants i didn't wear these yet I'm planning to wear these really really soon but i don't know i might wear these for my birthday basically these are some stacked white pants i got these from this brand right here i never shop for them yeah i know i get all my pants for minimal but you know I decided to switch it up type shit. Got this Frank Ocean shirt from a brand called, I don't really remember the brand, but this is their their thing. It's basically just a um, Frank Ocean tortilla in the back with him on the front, his album picture on the front. Okay, y'all, so y'all know Christmas just passed and I had to get an ugly Christmas sweater. If you don't know who this is, this is Pickle Rick. I pay like $50 for this shit, bro. And they said no refunds. So basically, I'm wearing this shit every fucking year for Christmas, bro. I'm not buying another one. It's basically, light up. It's an ugly ass sweater. It's dead three items, kind of like a bundle, or they kind of like the same thing. So I got this white Nike hoodie, this black Nike hoodie, and a red Nike hoodie. I got them simply because they all was on sale. Total, I probably paid like, probably like $90 for all three. Next hoodie I got is this one. So I thrifted this hoodie when I thrifted those Levi pants. And this is an all orange Miami Dolphins hoodie. You know what I'm saying? I don't really wear this simply because it's loud as fuck. Like, this shit is bright as fuck. And I don't, I don't really got nothing to wear with this. Okay, so this next hoodie, I wore this also in my Retiring video, it says red soul right here in the shape of a heart, and it's just a crop brown hoodie. So I got this hoodie from a dude named Wavy Wes on Instagram. Y'all go find him, show him some love. Funny story about this, he didn't have another one on him, but he ended up giving me the one on his body. And that's just, that's some W shit, bro. So I made sure I put a fit on for him. 
And you feel what I'm saying? I just had to go crazy. Shout out to him for the hoodie. You feel what I'm saying? His brand fire. So I forgot a shirt. This is a shirt I recently just got. It just says, you all suck. And it got their brand right here. And it's just an all white shirt, you know? You can't go wrong with your white tees. And next thing I got is this tapestry sweater. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of regret getting this, even though it's hard. I just got Dennis Rodman with Club 60. Fuck with it heavy. Don't get me wrong, like, I fuck with it heavy, but ever since I bought it, everybody been wearing it, bro. And that's my number one pet peeve. Okay, y'all, so my last and final clothing piece is this NASCAR jacket. Once I seen this, I knew I had to get it. Okay, so basically, I went to this place where a lot of vendors came down to the city and they were just selling their old clothes and just vintage clothes. And the dude, I walked up to the dude and he was like, I'm trying to get rid of this jacket, throw a price. He was like, throw a price and I'll give it to you. So I was like, hmm, how about you throw me a price? So he was like 45 and I said 40. And he was like, okay, deal. So boom, he gave it to me for $40, bro. That shit is hard as fuck, bro. Cause I always wanted one and I finally got one. So shout out to him. Okay, y'all, so the most exciting part to this video is of course the shoes. Disclaimer, I have two pair of shoes that I do not have here and they are the Lost and Founds and they are the Starfish ones. I do have those, keep those in mind. They're probably gonna be in a future video, but I do have those. And another shoe is the Cherry 11s. I did have the Cherry 11s, but I did sell them simply because they didn't fit my like my style aesthetic. I thought I wanted them in the moment because I could have them. And I ended up buying them, put them on. I was like, I can't really throw these. Like, I really can't freak these hoes how I want it. So I sold them. So I had these for probably some months. I know the taxi ones, they look really, really good on camera. I'm not going to lie. Y'all know I love ones, but I'm not going to lie. Ones are kind of losing their hype. I feel like fours are the most hyped shoe right now. And that's just what it is. It's just, it's just trends, bro. But I still fuck with ones, you feel what I'm saying? They look good, I'm not gonna lie. The next pair of dunks are these. Certified Fresh Brown Dunks. I feel like I showed y'all these before. But these are the Certified Brown Dunks. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I fuck with these, but I'm kinda not after I styled them or whatever, I kind of don't want them no more, but you know, I'm gonna keep them. Okay, so my next pair of shoes are these lottery dunks. These are the green versions. And on camera, these look, they look teal on camera, but it's actually like green. It's like an ivory green. It's really like ivory green. But on camera, it does look teal. That's weird. But yeah, I did peel the swoosh right here. And on the other one, I left it alone. And I did change the laces to these all-white cream laces. So if anybody copied me on these, I know you copied me and give me some fucking credit, bro. Do not copy me, bro. Like, do not copy me. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna style these probably. So these are gonna be sitting for like a while, so. Okay, so next pair of shoes I did get are some more Panda Dunks and I did change the laces. I put some rope laces in these, some white rope laces and they're just some Panda Dunks, you know what I'm saying? I really could put this on right now. But yeah, not really much to say about these to some panda dunks okay so next red shoe i got are the gray lottery dunks you know what i'm saying these look these actually oh which one look better to y'all the green ones or the gray ones i'm not gonna lie these look way better on camera i'm not gonna lie but i did peel this one too and i changed the laces to some white laces that i already had because the laces that come with these is like a it's like a it's like string like string and i ain't really fuck with it so yeah these are just the gray lottery dunks. The next pair of shoes are these men I never fours. What's crazy was I, I wasn't gonna get these, bro. I like I wasn't, but fours are like the most popular shoe right now. So I looked at how much I was going for. And I was like, I just can't pass up type shit because I know I'm a great not getting them. So I ended up dead getting the men I never fours. I just had to have them. So yeah. So next pair of shoes I got are these New Balance 2002 R's. And I just had to get them. What's crazy was, these was actually sitting for a little bit. Like, I walked into Champs, and I, it was just one of them days where I'm just spending hella money, bro. And I was like, these sitting? So, I was like, I got my size. They were like, yeah, I got your size. Tried them on. Boom. Got them. 
orange. And what's crazy, orange is like my least favorite color, but these hard, like, just look at them. So these two shoes are like my most recent, like I just caught. Okay, so y'all yeah, know I had to grab them. Chicago twos, like who would I be if I didn't get the Chicago twos? Y'all yeah, know I'm a fashion nigga, like I'm finna put these hoes on, like I might even wear these next, bro. Like I might even style these next, bro. This is the, I feel like the twos are the most least popular Jordan, but I'm finna freak these hoes, bro. Like, y'all know I had to lace them up, try them on, shit like that. Last and final shoe for this video. A lot of y'all gonna say, this nigga is a menace to society. And guess what I'm gonna say? I do not give a fuck. Some all black forces. I just had to get them, bro. Like, I don't care about the stereotype. And I really do not give a fuck. I feel like everybody who says that is just stuck in the same mindset, bro. Think outside the box, bro. I'm finna put these hoes on. I don't give a fuck. Everybody in my comments calling me a menace. Guess what? My fit's still hard. And guess what? It's my bread, not yours, nigga. But yeah, man, that's all for the video, man. I copped a lot of shit. Y'all add all that shit up, bro. That's how much money I spent lately. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment if you're new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to join the gang. It's been your boy D, and I'm out of this guy.